so I've added all that black composted dirt around all of my trees on my property and I just want to go into the wood and see if we can find something interesting in here maybe I can show everyone for the camera I'm Alex, I'm the host of The Great Outdoors. Today, inside of my hands, I have a beautiful, yet small snake species. It can be misidentified as a worm, even, just slithering across the ground. This is known as the crowned snake, and it has a black color head with a tan body. Very slender and really well-moving snake for um, how small it is. It can be seen almost swimming through sand, is how they describe it. Now this snake right here is actually considered mildly venomous, however, they assume not toxic to humans. Um, I don't think I can receive a bite from this snake right here. It is in the Clubrid family and it does have rear fangs. Now this snake right here feeds on insects like termites, even centipedes, ants, uh, the larva, ants, even worms. It bores into the ground and uh, that's what determines that it is also a subterranean snake species. As far as snakes go, this is one of the smallest snake species you'll find here in Florida. And uh, it's really a beautiful species, very shiny and slender. Um, just a unique species. And if you see this in your soils, that means you have pretty healthy soil because they feed on insects and insects are only gonna be found in healthy soils. While the crown snake is distributed across the southeastern United States, there's actually several different species of crown snakes. Most commonly, the southeastern crown snake. Now the southeastern crown snake range is quite a broken up range and doesn't cover every little area in the southeast. It's just distributed across the southeast pretty well. Now the crown snake has delineated in several ways and this one I found today is actually the Florida crown snake. If you look on this iNaturalist image of recent sightings, you'll see that the Florida crown snake is actually restricted to a pretty small range really close to my hometown, roughly 100 square miles, if I give it a little bit of range. iNaturalist is a great app that helps to track and identify different species. I use this very same app to help track down Plessy's major, Florida's executioner wasp. The limited range of the Florida crown snake just shows the need for the importance of conservation of species like this because they are completely vulnerable to external forces. I'm trying to photograph and share as many different wild animals as I possibly can on my YouTube channel as well as on Instagram. I truly think this is important to help people understand and appreciate wildlife and not fear it or overlook it. Especially the ones that have the potential to do you harm. Now the crown snake is mildly venomous, however they assume it is not venomous to humans. However, prey items, that's a different story. The venom this creature exhibits probably is used to subdue prey item. In a higher classification, these are known as centipede snakes because of one of its common prey items. And because it's venomous does not mean it is not prey to other snakes like the coral snake and king snake. So, I'm gonna let this snake go and be on its way. And I just wanted to give y'all an opportunity to see such a unique and beautiful snake species that we have here in Florida. If you like this video, be sure you share it, like it, and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you very much. I'm your host, Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy.